Hi, Dee. Hey, good morning, David. How's it going? Oh, it's going, it's going well. How are you? I'm doing okay. Uh, going through some bizarre counter offers. But really? uh, other than that, I'm doing good. How'd the appointment go yesterday? That, that, that's what you signed up for. Absolutely, I did, man. Right? It's, uh, <laughs> in short, it's rather entertaining. You know, right? So, you know, um, you know, you kind of you kind of understand why deals fall apart, and it's not so much as because the buyer and seller can't agree. Um, a lot of times, the realtors have have a lot of ego. Really, really. You know? Yeah. So it's it's just really bizarre, man. Man, so that's what you deal with on your side, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, just just a prime example. I mean, we came in extremely strong on an offer, uh, about twenty thousand over asking. Mm. You would assume I wouldn't get a counter, but I did. And they countered for my buyer to put down more earnest money, um, like almost one and a half percent of the of the sales price. Mm -hmm. um, and then they asked for um, for the buyer to change their own choice of title company. And the buyer has the choice, you know, of their own preferred title company in Oklahoma. So it was just it was just weird. Man. You know? See, it was all those little things, man. All those little things when you're in the middle of a deal, when you're at the end of the deal and you're, and you're going for closing, like, it's like, it's all those little things that pushed me out of the business. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm like, telling on, you. On I the mean, mortgage side, you know, especially because I, I, I did mortgages for six years and it's like, man, that's what pushed me out of mortgages. Mm. Yeah. Like it was yeah, all those crazy. little things, but God bless you. You obviously you can, you're stronger than me. You can deal with that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, there's a, you know, there's, there's a, what can I say? A hunger inside of me. And yes. Just, just kind of some things that, that weren't um, ideal, you mm -hmm. know, in, in mm -hmm. my life, so to speak. And I think I'm just trying to been overcome, trying to distance myself from, from that past as far as I can and just create a, a different, you know, future. Yes. And I think that kind of keeps me, keep me, you know, my focus and my purpose intact. Otherwise I think Good. if I would get, caught into, you know, the people I engage with, I, I probably would say, you know, screw this, but right. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, there's, it, there's a purpose bigger than, you oh, know, yeah. the issues I've come across. So I hang in there. Good. God bless you, man. And, and real estate is obviously a, 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 the great, I mean, one of the greatest vehicles we can, we could definitely say it's the greatest, but it's definitely one of the greatest vehicles. And then, and then you're with, you're with a great company too, as far as like just that whole team environment and that mm -hmm. leadership environment you know, that, that whole EXP. I don't know if I ever, if I ever told you, but I had like over here on my personal page, I had, mm -hmm. a, I had, well, I've, I've had so many EXP clients, but I had this one client who really, really just, she just, I mean, she went the extra mile for me. Um, she literally flew me out. She said, David, you did such a great job with me. I want you to meet everyone on my team. Mm -hmm. And she flew me out. I have, I have pictures over here. This is, um, let me show you. It was, I think it was in 20, it was January, 2018. Let me, it's, it's this one right here. So it's, it's this conference right here. Oh, I see you. Yeah. Let me show you. This is, um, this is Lori. She's right here to, to my left. That's me in the blue shirt, but that's her to the left. Mm -hmm. and, and yeah, this was 2019. So January, 2019, she, I, we, we crushed it all of, we crushed it all of 2018. And then, in, and then, and then in, in around, I would say maybe November or December, she hit me up and she said, David, I'm putting on a, a on an event for like 500 of my EXP friends. And it's going to be in Houston and it's January, 2019. She's I'm going to pay for your flight. I'm going to pay for your hotel. She's I'm going to pay for the ticket. She's I want you to come out here. I want you to meet all of my EXP and I want you to just do your thing. And I'm like, damn, wow. okay. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, and I was just like, my jaw just hit the ground because I'm like, dang, she kind of doesn't even really know me. But at the same time, we crushed it, and I helped her, you know, with her business. And and she was just that that grateful type of person. And she's like, David, she's all money and thing. I'm gonna fly you out. Don't even worry about it. I want you to network with all these people and just see what you can do. And I'm like, dang. So I, so so this was this was all at EXP this whole conference room, there was like, probably there was like probably like 600, 600 people and they were all EXP. It was that, that group. And it was this group right here, all EXP. And this was this, this white chick right here in the middle. Uh -huh. She was the one, see, this is my client right here, but this is the, this was her upline. 
So, so the seven, the six, the, the five, 600 people that were in that room were all in this uh -huh. chick's downline right here. Yeah. Really. So she had, so this, this chick right here, I forgot her name. I forgot her name, but, but she, yeah, that was her whole downline and she crushes it. She crushes it. And then this, this Asian dude right here, Tom, he has wow. a huge downline as well. And, and, yeah. and so I met him and he crushes it. And, and these people right here came from KW and, and they're, they're just crushing it in EXP now, but it was that picture. And then it was this one over here. Um, let me go back to it real quick. It was this picture right here. This dude right here, he, he's not in EXP, but he, he's, he's like a coach of a bunch of people in, in EXP. He's just this crazy real estate coach, Ton, Ton, Tony Jerry. And so I just, I just got in and, and, and just, I just, I just soaked it up. It was a, it was a weekend event and, and just leadership and, and this dude right here, this dude, I don't know if you know this guy right here in the middle. Um, he, what the heck, his name is, um, 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 man, he had one of, he had one of the original EXP presentation videos that actually went viral on YouTube. Gene, Gene, um, his name's Gene. Damn, what the hell is his name? It was, it was Gene Douglas, Gene Douglas, Gene okay. Douglas. His name is Gene Douglas. This dude right here, D, he has, like this was in 2019. And at that time, he had about, that was January, 2019. At that time, he had about, he had about, he had about 5,000 agents in his downline. Mm -hmm. And so now today, a year later, he's probably at like 10,000 agents in his downline mm -hmm. so this guy he came over to exp i think i think i think five years ago mm -hmm. and and just has thousands of people in his downline like this dude crushes it crushes it like crushes it like yeah. he's obviously just making overrides of everybody now i don't i don't even think he yeah and at that time that was january 2019 he he said because he did a you know he 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 had a speech or whatever he said he hadn't closed a cell himself he hasn't done a cell in about two years mm -hmm. oh yeah all and, that and pass passive income all that passive income he mm -hmm. was like literally in 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 the five figures he was in the high five figures a day in passive income yeah so so that was my exp yeah. that was my first exp encounter and my first exp experience and, and I went out there because I come from network marketing, like my whole background, I, I spent many years in, in, in network marketing, direct sales. So I knew the concept, but I never knew it was, and I never knew Keller Williams had that concept either. Um, I never knew that when I did mortgages, I never knew that. Like, cause I, prior to mortgages, I was into network marketing and building teams and building downlines and all that. And I didn't even know Keller Williams was like that until I came over to EXP to this event. And I'm like, dang, you guys are building it this way. And, 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 and these are all people that had huge downlines. And I'm like, damn, that's, that's pretty big. I didn't know any real estate company operated that way. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So that, that was, that was a crazy experience. And that's why every time I see someone with, with EXP, I'm like, dang, you gotta, you gotta keep going, like, keep going. Don't give up. Oh, yeah, I sure, I sure appreciate that confirmation. You know, it's really funny because, you know, you, you, you talk about Kelly Williams, which is where I came from, where I came to EXP. And, um, you know, it's funny how people that are just in, infatuated with, with Kelly Williams, you know, and, uh, mm -hmm. and, and don't get me wrong. I mean, mm -hmm. I think their culture is amazing. I have nothing bad to say about that company. I mean, it developed me as an agent when I came from Century 21. Um, I had just been recruited. You know, they just kind of go after, you know, new licensees that, that, that come up, you know, as, um, you know, passing the exam through Oric. Yeah. And so they kind of reel you in that way. You don't really know how to, you know, um, uh, interview. You don't really know what questions to ask. And all you know is that it takes a, a, a broker for you to operate in, in the business. Mm -hmm. But you don't really know what to look for as far as whether or not that's going to be a good outfit for you and your, and your goals in the business. Mm -hmm. So anyway, long story short, when I was with Century 21, I mean, I was failing miserably. And the only thing my, my broker would say to me is, gosh, you sure are cute. And I thought, well, hell, I'm selling homes, not, you know, I'm, 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 not, I'm not selling anything else. You know, so, so if I'm not able to, to convey value or position myself as a better agent, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter how good I look. 
you know, mm -hmm. so it kind of pissed me off. But anyway, mm -hmm. um, happened to have gotten the right co-op sale and this guy named Abby Matthews was like, Dorica, there is just something powerful about you. Again, I was a short sale specialist at the time. So mm -hmm. my knowledge in that field was just mind blowing. He said, come talk to, to, to my guy here at KW. And I didn't know, you know, he was really recruiting me. But when I went in the office, the, um, the, the, the broker looked at me at the time. He said, you know what, Dorica, I know why you're here. You're broke. You're struggling. Mm -hmm. And you're trying to figure out how to make it, make it in this business. And I said, yes, sir. He said, what are your goals? I said, I want to be a millionaire. Mm -hmm. And um, he gave me Gary Keller's book. He said, well, here's your, here, here's your blueprint. Um, which, which one was it? Was it the focus on one thing or what was it called? What's it called? Isn't it like one thing or something like that? Uh, I think it's the millionaire real estate agent. Is it that one? Okay. I think, I think that was his very first book. I want to say that he wrote, uh, I think he's revised it since then, but, um, kind of, kind of gives you the full blueprint of, you know, basically, you know, what it takes to, 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 to build not only a business. I mean, no, let me, let me not digress how to be productive and then how to build a business within a business. And I had mm -hmm. never heard of that concept. So KW encourages you to build a team, you know? Um, and so with that, that just kind of evolved. Um, but uh, long story short, yeah, KW has that model, but they only pay you um, in your downline if you, I mean, if they make a profit. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was the biggest difference, right? It was, yeah, it was that, 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 that's the only difference. Mm -hmm. It because it's the same model revenue yeah yeah and it's like damn who it's like okay how how do i really know that's your profit you know what i mean like you could exactly you could like totally fudge those numbers you know what i mean oh exactly i mean and then, then when you look at the tier of everyone you have to pay and and you know in, in order to see whether or not there's a profit made mm -hmm. you know it's it's uh it's it, i'm telling you it, it just it doesn't really compensate the agent so exp in my opinion change the whole agent compensation model um, entirely. And they're able to give more off the top because we don't have overhead. We're not a brick and mortar. Mm -hmm. So we don't have all of that overhead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's kind of the game changer. I mean, I only have one person in my downline. Well, I had two, she, she quit the business. But mm -hmm. um, anyway, just that one guy who does it part-time, um, he, he's, he has a full-time job. He's in, the oil, he's in the oil industry. But I've already made almost four hundred dollars off of him, and he's only closed two deals. I mean, it's, it's not a lot. I mean, hell, I paid wow. twenty one thousand a year for six years, and uh, the only thing I got back was was my anniversary date to start over again. Mm. <laughs> wow, wow. So, See, I, and and when I get those little overrides, I get fired up, man. I get. Oh, I don't yeah. care if it was forty bucks. Like I get fired up. Like two. Hey, I didn't have to do anything. Generate business. Right? single phone call mm -hmm. didn't a single door yep. you know, didn't get in my car once and, and i'm being compensated just for helping build out the company that i share ownership in yep it's yep. just I mean, it, it's a game changer and when the big I mean, we, we we're, we're recruiting teams i mean I'm, we're, we're seeing you know people close their entire brokerage and come over to exp yes like michael reese mm -hmm. and um jay kinder i was under their coaching for some time, they were NAEA. You may know them. Those mm -hmm. they're they're big time. But anyway, I mean they they were brokers. I mean and they mm -hmm. when it, but once you see it and you really see it and depending on your mindset, you can't unsee it. It's just like you, you almost just can't believe it. And um, I'm like, man, I don't, I don't want to be still unlocking doors when I'm 60 or 70 years mm -hmm. old, man. I you mm -hmm. know I'm I'm building my retirement at the same time that I'm also doing what I normally do. I'm closing transactions. 5% of my, of my commission automatically buys stock at a discounted price. Um, plus every time my downline closes, I, 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 I'm, I'm incentivized on that. Um, I'm also incentivized when my, something in my downline closes. Uh, I, I don't pay as much in, in um, broker fee. I was paying KW 21,000 to cap. EXP only requires 16,000. So that was a $5,000 raise right off the bat. Um, it's, it's just that me, part to me. Real on and on. I mean, I'm, I'm a Raven fan. And when people talk about don't recruit me, I'm like, Hey, I'm not, I'm not trying to re recruit you, man. I'm trying to expose you to something that can change your life. And not only mm -hmm. that benefit you and your family for the long term. we can barely save for taxes. So, you know, what are the chances that you're actually saving for your retirement as you right. are, you know, a salesperson in real estate today. So it's just, man, in my opinion, I mean, it was, it was life changing. Totally. Can you explain that I'm not take full advantage of everything, yeah. you know, 
what's that cap? Like, can you explain that cap? What is that? What does that mean? Yeah, cap means um, basically, you know, every broker, you know, is they, they benefit from each each transaction that yeah, you yeah, for sure. Okay, and so um, out of that percentage, the company requires that you pay up to, you know, um, a cap amount per year or and, per deal per year per year. Uh huh. In order to um, get a hundred percent commission, so that's the goal. Mm, okay. 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 So then you uh, hit your cap. So if I if I ran out and I and I and I closed, you know, shit. If I closed a ton of deals in one month and met that cap, I'm getting one hundred percent commission for the next eleven months. Absolutely. You just nailed mm, it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Man, that man. Who the hell? Do, who who pays out a hundred percent, D? <laughs> What brokerage pays out a hundred percent? Ain't no one doing that. K, K, KW right? Keller Williams does too. Don't get me wrong. Really? Um. Yeah. Yeah. They do. I mean, but, but theirs theirs is an eighteen thousand dollar. Okay. Let, let me break that down just just real short. Theirs is an eighteen thousand dollar cap. The other three thousand is your franchise. So you're you're paying towards your 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 franchise at the same time. Um. And and once you cap. You know, once that equals out to twenty one thousand, then you're a hundred percent for the rest of your anniversary day. I mean, the rest of your anniversary year. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, you better be hitting your caps, D. Man, tell me about it. You know, and it's so funny because <laughs> I was I was a capping agent every year except my first year with Keller Williams. Like I went to Keller Williams in twenty in twenty eleven. Mm -hmm. I left in twenty eighteen. My first year, because of when I came in, I didn't I didn't quite cap. But from 2012 through 2018, I capped every year. Mm. Um, since I came over to EXP, I have not capped yet, which is crazy. Um, but to you know attribute to why you know there's such a, a vast difference between my productivity making the switch is because I stepped out of my brand. Um, mm -hmm. I specialized in distressed sales, and um, have been encouraged by my coach to cut it entirely, completely. Mm -hmm. Don't do that anymore, D. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to be a top producer, if you want to be a top performer, you need to get acquainted with the phone to need to start cold calling and setting appointments. Well, it, it wasn't my strong suit. And so, um, and I don't really like doing it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So anyway, with that being said, that kind of reduced me back to more competition. See, when I was doing short sales, no one was fighting me to be an expert in that field. Right, yeah. Okay, I mean, you're talking two months to 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 two to six months to close it one deal mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so no one really fought me for that yeah but when you come back and you're saying okay i'm just going to be the agent who's going to show up to that same expired and same fisbo or same property owner and try to, to convert that lead into business now you're competing with five thousand agents trying to identify yourself as mm -hmm. you know unique you know yeah. what's my what's my proposition here for yeah. why you should be over you know agent b and so um, it just it just kind of stripped me down to 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 you know the foundation all over again to say okay well in order to, to rebuild this consumer base you know what's your message mm -hmm. and and I've been battling trying to figure out what that is um, and how to offer the same level of value and passion because to me I have to I, I'm better when I can um, be doing something where I feel like I'm being rewarded by the lives I'm changing. Mm -hmm. And that's why short sales work for me because these people were losing their homes. They, they had lost hope and they didn't know what to do in that situation. And I knew that process. Well, now I'm like, okay, it's just a buyer or seller. I mean, what do I do? How do I make them feel, you know, um, that I'm a genuine, good hearted person. Mm -hmm. So I had to figure out how to convey a different message. Um, and so anyway, that's, that's kind of long, long just of that, but, um, See, and isn't, isn't the market about to experience all that in this next, you know, 12 month, 12 to 24 month period? Isn't, I mean, isn't shit about to hit the fan as far as foreclosures and, 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 and short sales? I mean, aren't, it, I, 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 I mean, I follow a couple top, top people in real estate and, 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 and one dude was talking about how, how 2021 Mm -hmm. will be a, a huge year where people just lose their ass as far as their mortgage, you know, as far as. Mm -hmm all this unemployment, it's going to, it's going to bleed over, you know, it's oh, going to bleed over and, and people are going to be kind of, 
you know, losing, losing their behind as far as the mortgages. You know, so I mean, is that, is that projected? I mean, is that what you're, you're, you're positioning yourself for? Cause I mean, that, that's where all that past experience may, may come into play, right? For you. Yeah, it is. I, and, and, and I, and I believe, you know, uh, along with that study, they're absolutely correct because the misconception about short sales is that it was only a result of, you know, subprime lending and adjustable rate mortgages in, in 2008. Um, and I said, no, I mean, true, that was the culprit at that time, you know, um, but the reality was that people were being affected financially and all short sales, short sales are in order to qualify at least is just a hardship. So what do you think is going to happen to 26 million Americans who are now yep. unemployed? And then mind you, um, the, 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 uh, the states are tanking as far as, you know, funds, they can't even keep up. I mean, it was nice that they gave all that additional, you know, allocation towards unemployment, but these states have never really rebuilt up their funds from the great recession of 2008. Mm -hmm. So these states are starting to deplete funds faster than people can get back to work. And so absolutely, you know, they, they're, they're kind of putting a bandaid over what's still bleeding because, you know, Trump is just kind of making it look like it's not as devastating as it is, you know, just to get him back through the election period. Mm -hmm. But I assure you, the shit's going to hit the fan. They've halted kind of foreclosures and the fact that you can't really, um, you know, um, pursue people for defaults. You have to give them forbearance options. Mm -hmm. Landlords can't really evict. Oh, but that's only temporary. I promise you it's going to resume soon. And uh, because because the banks are having to still pay the investors, you know, mortgages are backed by government spot. They're, they're government sponsored. So basically, there's an investor that owns that mortgage. So the servicers are still having to pay the investors, although those notes are not performing. Mm. At some point, it's going to come time to collect. Wow. You know, <laughs> or there's going to be another bank bailout. You're going to have to bail out the banks because the banks have been funding these these loans during the time that people weren't able to make their mortgage payments. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a vicious cycle. I mean, it's the same thing, different culprit. It's just COVID-19, but the impact is going to be, I think, 10 times worse. I don't know. It may take a while to see a declining market, you know, because home values will have to depreciate based on too many homes selling below market. Mm -hmm. But I do believe there's going to be a rise in inventory for that. And see, this is, and, and, and also, I mean, shit, to keep it real, like on the bright side, this is when people become wealthy. So you're either going to, you're either going to really be part of that statistic that, that, that completely hits rock bottom, or you're going to be that statistic that actually becomes wealthy through it all. And, and right? you just nailed it. And that's what I was telling people. So, I said, you, know, you, you would think that the market stagnates, but honestly, a whole different type of money in, comes into the market during that time. And, and, and a whole, and 1000%, a whole different mindset. It does. And so, you know what's so, crazy? EXP just rolled out express offers at the perfect freaking time. What's that? What Express, express offers? offers. Okay. Now Zillow, open pad. I mean, what is it? Open house. Open, I forget. Open door. Yeah. Yeah. Open door. Yeah. Um, what's another one um house pads anyway there's there's three big 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 top ones so basically what they're doing is they're offering cash no terms offers to sellers um basically as a secondary secondary option from not going the traditional selling route oh, um wow. Wow. and so we're able to offer that same that same program so we have institutional buyers um, that we can submit wow. off-market deals to say, hey, you know, I just ran into Jan Doe, you know, they own such and such property. I think this is a good return on investment. We can, we can put that into a platform. We have investors that are right there waiting wow. for it. Wow. And they can write cash offers in 48 hours. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And we don't, and they don't charge convenience fees or anything. So that's our competitive edge against Zillow and Open Door and House Pads is that we don't charge that convenience fee. Um, but the, yeah, we, we can offer that, um, express offer thing, you know, we can cash out, you know, on, on, on a property owner's home without having to go the traditional selling route. And so how that, that's, that's just another vehicle. Is that, is that like, how is that not like a normal type of strategy for most brokers? Like what the hell? Like that seems so damn like 
That's crazy. <laughs> like, why is it barely 2020 when people are rolling something out like that? I don't know. You know, it's funny because like, um, I, I I think they're trying to get on the bandwagon. I mean, truly, we're not the only. We're not the exclusive to that to that idea. But we have again, you know, um, Lynn Stanford. He's just he's just a genius. He's such a forward thinker, and uh, you know, he found out a way to basically make it better than what's on the open market. But I mean, it's wow. just people that just get relaxed into the day to day. You know, they're not yeah. keeping relevant. Mm -hmm. They're not really seeing where the consumer is going. Um, because I'm telling you all this, you know, um, online option that people have to, to make purchases, mm -hmm. you've got to find a way to stay engaged and stay relevant yes. and, and yes. stay ahead of the curve. And so I think for this, this was just, that's just a game changer. I mean, most people will probably still go the traditional route because you got to know their investors are not going to offer, you know, fair market mm -hmm. value. It's going to mm -hmm. be a, a, a reduced price. Um, but you know, again, Think, think of the market that we're able to serve, you know? Um, See, here, here's the deal. And here's where, here's where the, the, the perfect transition is when we go into what we're here to really talk about. Mm -hmm. With all that being said, that message, right? Mm -hmm. You're focused on your area. With all that being said, most agents are going to come over here to, to social media and just spray it. And, and, and what I'm telling you is that, as I mentioned before, 99% of the 1,300 friends mm -hmm. don't live in the area. Right. And 99% and, and of the people who like your business page don't live in the area. 99% of the people who follow us on Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter don't live in the area. Mm -hmm. So as an entrepreneur, we have this powerful, powerful message we come to social media, we post it everywhere, crossing our fingers, praying that someone hits us up. And it's mm -hmm. like, damn, like, that's how we're building our business? Like, really? <laughs> like, how, like, that yeah. makes no sense to me. So, 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 or if it's not that, then you're going to have to physically tie, tie them shoelaces and go hit the streets and go get that message out. Like, how right. else are you going to do it? Like, like, and, and, that, and that's where old school marketing comes into play. We're door knocking, we're cold calling, we're sending out direct mail. If, if you have any kind of money at all, you're maybe putting your face on a billboard or a bus bench. Maybe you're doing a little local radio advertisement. You're trying to network with a couple people on the local news channel. It's like, damn, all that stuff is old school. All that stuff is expensive. And, and, and that's where we try to put our message. And, 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 and so I'm going to obviously sound biased about what I'm about to say, but it is what it is. With that mm -hmm. same simple message, you put yourself on video like you did, and you run that 24 hours a day on a Facebook ad targeting that local area. Mm -hmm. there, there ain't nothing that compares. There ain't nothing. There ain't nothing. You can't compare that to anything in, in, in marketing. And so I'm either going to have to be that, that salesperson, which I am. I'll get dirty. I'll roll up my sleeves with you. I, 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 you know, I'll, I'll grind, but that sells. I like marketing where I can put my message out. Like I'm a fisherman. Mm. I want to put that fishing pole out. I want to have that lure. I want to have that bait and I want to just put multiple fishing poles out and have the fish come to me. That's marketing. So when I can take my message via video and I can post it on a platform that's actually going to target my local area. And whether it's local or whether it's nationwide, it doesn't matter. It's the fact that I can target. So if I could take a message, a video, and that's me on video, it ain't no flyer, it ain't no pretty headshot. No, that's me on video. You're seeing my whole flaw. And that's what social media, that's why, that's why social media is so powerful because people attract to people. Like we don't, we're not attracted to corporate brands or your junk mail. I'm attracted to people, human nature, humans. We, we, we are attracted to people. That's why we're so glued onto social media because as we scroll through social media, I'm looking at people just like me. Yeah. Yeah. People are trying to front. People are trying to, you know, trying to, trying to look their best. I get it. But at the same time, these are people that are just like me. And, 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 and when I see people that look just like me, I'm attracted to them like attracts like. And so when we could take our message via video and target a specific area and I can have that damn thing play 24 seven while I'm sleeping mm. and my message is, is just, it's just, it's just pounding, pounding, pounding. And every week I come with something new 
I'm mm -hmm. just educating, 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 because I got all this knowledge. I got all this, I got, I got a message. Mm -hmm. And when I could put it out and target a specific area via video, and it ain't going to cost me no more than a couple bucks. Like, like I'm telling you, D, if I took you out to lunch, I told you this last time, if I took you out to lunch, I'm going to spend more at lunch than I would spend getting my video message out to my local area for the entire week. <laughs> I'm keeping it real because I'm probably going to order you a couple drinks. I'm going to order me a couple drinks. We're going to get some appetizers. We're going to have a good little meal. I'm going to spend more on that. And we're talking lunch. I ain't even talking dinner. <laughs> I'm going to spend more at lunch with you than I would spend to run my video message targeting my local area for the entire week. Like, so, so we're not talking thousands of dollars. Like we're talking literally lunch money, like that Starbucks money, that yeah. lunch money, that money we're spending at, 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 on some random stuff. Like that becomes our marketing money. Like that becomes specifically our Facebook ad money. Mm -hmm. We need it. We need to allocate and we need it. We need to cut these random expenses and go all in with Facebook video marketing. Like it's just, I, I mean, as biased as it sounds, it's, 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 it, it, it's as real as, as it is, as far as where we're at with marketing and where we're at with 2020. And, 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 and the fact that, that you could put your fishing poles out there and attract people versus you having to grind and go after the people. And, and that's what you're used to. You're used to hustling, grinding. I'm used yeah. to hustling, grinding. I ain't got, I, I ain't, man, I don't want to do that no more. Shit. Like if I could just put some, 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 some fishing poles out, that's why I always love marketing because I understood that. Now, I, I come from sales and marketing, so I was always that hustler. But at the same time, I love marketing. I want to put a good message out and find them people to come to me. And that's, yeah. what, that's what marketing allows, allows you to do is, is put that message out and get people to come to you. And, and that's what this is all about. You know, you got all these big things that are happening. You got it. You got to educate the people somehow, some way. How are you going to do it? Mm -hmm. How are we going to do it where we could touch the masses? Not one by one. I want one to a ton. Like, like I, I, I ain't got the time to go one on one. I need to get my message to the masses fast. And that's video marketing, whether it's Facebook marketing, whether it's Instagram marketing, whether it's YouTube marketing, but first you start with Facebook Facebook advertising and, and you just, you just take that message and, and get thousands of people to see it quick. That's okay. what it's all about. And, and, and out of the thousands of people, there's going to be a handful of people that hit you up. Yep. That's just, that's just the law of averages. If I get this message in front of a handful of people, there's going to be X amount that hit me up. And, and if I can do that where I automate the damn thing, where I can do that when I, where, when I can do that and I can put that message out and still have a family life and still have a freaking life, right? Not having to grind all the freaking time it, because damn, I mean, it, we got, we got to play smart. We got to play smart, you know, and, and, and that's just where I see you. You got the ability to put out that video as uncomfortable as you may think you are. You're not like kill it. I, I saw that video that you put up the other day. It's like, man, there ain't nothing more to it. That's all you got to do. And if you can, if you can just continue to educate the people, Oklahoma city, we're coming from, we're coming from, we're coming from like, they're going to know who you are. And what's so crazy is that after a few videos, after, after, after three, four, five videos, and, and I'm talking about dropping a video every single week mm -hmm. after a few weeks, because of the power of what I'm saying, video marketing, targeting a local area, after a few weeks, let's just call it, let's, let, let's call it, let's call it, let's call it four weeks. After a full month of just blasting a new video every week to a specific area, before you know it, you'll be walking down to the grocery store and people are going to start recognizing you. <laughs> They're going to be like, damn, I saw you in my newsfeed. Mm. They ain't friends with you. They don't like your business page. They just keep seeing you in their newsfeed because mm. we're targeting them. Right. And, 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 and then you end up becoming this local celebrity, which is, which is a good thing when it, when, you know, when it comes to this business, I need, mm -hmm. I need everyone to know who we are. Right. And, and that's, that's the power of a simple video, man. It's, it's, it's crazy. It blows my mind. It blows my mind. And I've been, I've been preaching this since 2016 to real estate agents, 
maybe, maybe, maybe just a handful have really caught on because everyone's still getting pitched by their broker to do something offline or something random. Or, mm-hmm. or, or not everyone's even consistent with closing deals and not everyone even has a budget. So I, I understand that too, but it's like, damn, step your game up. And I tell my, my whole thing now with talking to you guys, I'm like, if you have to go get a part-time job, if you have to have a garage sale every weekend, if you mm-hmm. have to have some type of hustle to go get a couple hundred a month to have your Facebook ads go out, you have to do that. That's literally part of my presentation every single day when I'm speaking to you guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, because because I understand if we ain't closing escrows every month, okay, damn, the money ain't there. You right. better do something part time. Let let's start a little little online business. Let's do something mm-hmm. where we can free up a couple hundred. And it ain't even to pay me. It ain't to pay me. It's it's for your budget. I'm gonna teach you how to do this. Mm-hmm. I, I'm talking about in 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 terms of of you being able to forge your own Facebook ad for you to do it. Because because I truly believe it ain't that hard. Like if I teach someone, it ain't that hard to learn this stuff. It ain't that hard at all. Um, and so I'm just saying, man, if, 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 if we got to just have a little part-time hustle so I, can, so I can run Facebook ads to build my real estate business, then we're going to have to do that. And, that. and that's what I tell agents now because it's, it's that important. It's that important because if it's not that, we're going to continue to spray stuff all over social media when ain't no one caring. Yep. Yeah. And, and, and so that, that's why we have to target that market. You have, there's, there's so much information we have to educate the people and that becomes our video marketing is education. Mm-hmm. All this stuff we're educating. Those are your videos, three to four minute videos on pure education, the process of selling, the process of buying, forbearance, foreclosure, short sales, whatever the hell you want to talk about. That you, you, I want you to look at this as Dee's weekly TV show. <laughs> I like that. That's what this is. That's what this is. People are going to be tuning in every single week. And, 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 and because we're targeting them, they're going to just see us, see a new video every week. And, 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 and when people, when you're, when you're, when you're approaching the audience from an educational content point of view, because every agent is out there pitching, every salesman is pitching the heck mm-hmm. with just real estate agents. Every salesman wants to pitch, right? Right. It's like, and, and on social media, it, it could, it can, it could be a negative thing. So rather yeah. than approaching you, rather than, rather than approaching the market and pitching everybody, I'm going to educate everybody. I'm going I'm to I'm put more education out there than, than, and, than any competition that, that I have to worry about. And I'm going to make people fall in love with me because I'm educating them. You know, and, and, and that's what happens is that because you approach it from an educational content strategy, you put out a new educational piece every week. And before you know it, people see you again, they see you again, they see you again. Oh, damn, now she's talking about selling. Okay, let me see what she's talking about. And, 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 and these are people that live five miles away from you. These are people that are your neighbors, like literally, literally, like you don't even know. These are people your, that are your neighbors because we're targeting. Mm-hmm. And, so, and so before you know it, what, what psychologically, from a psychological point of view, what happens is after a person sees X amount of videos, it, that, and that's just, that's just advertising 101. A person has to see your message six to eight times before the, before something really clicks. Right. And that's what happens with video marketing. With video, the reason one reason why video, quote unquote, video, one reason why video is so powerful is because after an individual sees multiple videos from an from an actual from an, from a person, they become indoctrinated. They become indoctrinated without even knowing. They become, they psychologically, without them even knowing, because they've now seen multiple videos from an individual, mm-hmm. they automatically think that they know you. They automatically think, and this is psychological, this is science. They automatically think that they like you. They mm-hmm. automatically think that they know you. And now, because you keep bringing education, they feel that they can trust you. Mm. Those three things, they become indoctrinated because they think that they know you now, they think that they like you now, and they think that they can trust you now. Because your approach was video and because your approach was education. And, 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 and when we can just put one video out, let that bad boy run for the entire week. Put another video out, let that one run for the entire week. Put another, as if it was going out of style, we're putting out a new video every Friday. Every Friday, we got, we got D's TV show coming on every Friday. 
and, and, and that goes out to thousands of people that live next door to me. How am I not going to put a few bucks towards that? Like what, like, what am I going to do? Post over here and let David in California see it when he ain't even in the market. <laughs> I don't know. You may be relocating in the next five. Right? Right? <laughs> what you going to do? Hold your breath until me and my wife want to want to move out. Like I'm coming. Okay. D I'm coming. to OKC. When's that going to happen? Exactly. Right. Yeah, just set money on fire. You set money on fire. Time, money, energy. And, and I see it by the thousands. You know, I'm telling you over here on my page, D, that's 5,000 friends. The only one who's not an agent is my wife. Like, mm -hmm. I am not playing. This is a public list. And it's been that way since 2016. I'll lose a few friends. I'll request more agents. I'll unfriend a few people that I ain't going to do business with. I'll request, I'll request more agents. Every single one, 4999 is an agent. I see it by the thousands. I see what everyone's doing. And that's why I'm on a mission. I'm like, damn, okay. We got, if, if we got to go get a part-time job to afford what I'm talking about, you're going to have to go do that. And, right. and, and, and we ain't talking a lot of money. We're talking lunch money. Mm -hmm. You know, because I see it by the thousands. So many people wasting their time. Put, people putting out great content. People putting out great video. When everyone's afraid of the camera, people are actually out there like D and says, you know what? Hell, the hell with it. I'm going to do it. But it's like, damn, when I see that video, I'm like, shit, she got out of her, out of her comfort zone. She actually did it. But damn, 99% of people seen it ain't, 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 ain't in the area. So the 125 people who viewed it, they don't care. Yeah. So it's my personal mission to get a hold of these people and be like, damn, let me just show you a better way. Like, mm -hmm. let's target that video. Let's get it to your local audience because there's some power in that video. But unfortunately, the wrong people are seeing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So your time is now. You have so many nuggets in there. I mean, it's, it's just profound. You know, one thing I just want to say um, in respect of everything you shared is, you know, when, you, when you're trying to figure out, you know, um, how to generate business, how to close deals, you get caught up into a lot of mainstream coaching. Oh, of course. You know, and all that ties back to, like you said, the older traditional selling methods of cold calling, door knocking, open houses, those sorts of things. And, um, you know, the marketing aspects of things is something that rarely gets mentioned, you know, and I'm learning that people that are really doing things at a, at a, at, at, you know, at top level, mm -hmm. they understand marketing. Mm -hmm. They understand marketing. Mm -hmm. And I didn't, you know, personally didn't come from that background. So again, I'm, I'm a student, you know, I'm still learning those things. And, you know, that was one thing that my coach used to say, Mike and Jay would always say, learn how to attract business, not chase business. Mm -hmm. And I fell in love with that, with that cliche, but I didn't really know how to attract that business. Now, when I was doing short sales, it had just kind of grown into its own um, concept, so mm -hmm. to speak, to where, you know, it was attracting, you know, it was, you know, I just, you know, I didn't have to do any marketing. I mean, I, to this day, if you talk to certain people, they'll say, oh yeah, Dorica, she does a lot of short sales. Mm. So I have market space in people's mind just because mm -hmm. I've done it for so long and I've closed so many deals and my signs were everywhere. And that's what I did mainly. As a matter of fact, if I listed a home that wasn't a short sale, it would kind of frustrate me because the agents wouldn't show the home because they thought it was a short sale and it wasn't because they, that's, they thought that's all I did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but anyway, so with that being said, I mean, the marketing aspect, I just didn't know how relevant I didn't know, you know, that, that it's an intricate part of this business. You know, and if you can do marketing, if you understand marketing, and if you, um, you know, do it consistent enough, you will, like you said, see the business start generating. I'm like, how do people do that where, you know, things are working while they're not working? I need that yeah, light. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. What I do is I. I need to record that video. I need to get it uploaded. I need to go show that home. I need to write that contract, you know. But yes. if I can set up something that is telling my story, while yes. I'm working on other things and I'm yes. attracting that business, yes. and, you know, the money I'm spending in cold calling, I can put that behind syndicating that out even more. Yes. Know? Yes. And, uh, anyway, just, just, just wanted to say thank you because you know, you're giving me that perspective that I, that I need and, and um, you know, the timing yes. couldn't be better because again, I'm spiraling right now trying to figure it all out. And um, 14 years later, it's kind of like inexcusable that, you know, you don't, you don't, I don't have the basic fundamentals of what it takes in order to get the business not only going, but, you know, somewhat 
fueling itself without me having to keep my foot on the gas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and that's why what you said to your point, like you got, you got so many other things going on. It's kind of hard. It, 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 and, and that's one reason why most don't even understand marketing because they're focused on so many other things, which, which you, you should be right close. Like there's so many other things in your business that you need to be worrying about marketing it kind of tends to get left out when it's when it's absolutely the most important but mm -hmm. but what has me so fired up today is the fact that you have marketing you have marketing it's a one huge umbrella you have marketing but then when you narrow it in and niche it down and you look at all the little micros within it i'm telling you facebook advertising yeah so 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 we could talk marketing on all types of different online platforms but I'm telling you, I've studied it all, and mm -hmm. right where we're at today, it's a Facebook ad. That yeah. that that that's as easy as it gets. So so one reason why I'm huge, why I'm really really excited is because it's really it it the, the playing field is even for everyone. It's level for everyone, but it's damn dumbed down for everyone. It's mm -hmm. never been this easy. It's never been this simple at all because of a Facebook platform, because of the ad, the the way that ad is structured and how it can go out so simply. Like it's never been this easy. Um, I don't, and, and I don't expect you to under, really understand that part, but, but just from my part of, of just knowing all of marketing, mm -hmm. it's like, damn, like for a few bucks on this platform, I can take that message and share it to everyone in my local area. I can't think of any other way I can do that. Like for, for, for the cost of lunch, like there's no, there, what, what there, I can't think of anything else. So, so when it comes to marketing and when it comes to online marketing, the game is right here, at least mm -hmm. for right now. And that's why I'm saying where we're at right now May, in, what are we, May, May 2020, I'm, yep. I'm, I'm recommending, I'm encouraging you, I'm giving you the advice from my professional opinion, recommendation, you, mm -hmm. need, to, you need to spend the rest of the year running Facebook ads. That's it. The hell with everything else. Now, if you got other stuff going on and it's, and it's netting you something, and you getting some ROI, okay, cool, keep it. But if you ain't getting nothing out of anything else you got going on, I need you to cut it all out, and we need to focus right here on dropping a new video every week for the rest of the year. That's how I want you thinking. And if it was some other platform, I'd be telling you that. If, if it was some other random thing, I'd be telling you that, but it ain't. And so either I'm going to help you do all this, or, or I'm going to just teach you how to do it yourself. So it's kind of however you want to you want to approach it at this point. I mean, I can coach you through all this. I have clients where I just coach them through it, and 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 I and I walk them through it. I hold their hand, and we we set up a couple ads, and after that, they're like, "Damn, David, I got this," mm -hmm. and and they take off and 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 they go and do their own thing, or 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 I got some clients that say, "You know what, David, I'm good at what I do. You stay good at what you do, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna just keep you around, and you just run the damn thing yourself. And as long as leads are coming in." then 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 we're good you know what right. i mean so, so it's totally up to you i mean it's totally up to you if you have the time if you have the patience like we can set up coaching calls and i can just like walk you through the whole facebook ad setup and and, and just help you put together a few different ads and 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 then and then you can take it from there um or i even have training i even have videos walking you through each ad setup and so you can watch these videos on your own time I got that too, or I could just do the whole damn thing myself and, and you could just do what you do, you know? So either way, no matter what way we go, we're, we're starting small. So I'm not here to charge a, an arm and a leg. Like we're going to start small. We're going to scale up and, and, and we'll take it, we'll take it, you know, day by day. But it just, it just comes down to what type of person you are. You know what I mean? Do you, do you want to, do you want to learn it? yourself or or do you want to just delegate it you know um the the approach that i've taken for, for far too long is no one can do it better than me i can yeah. do it i this mm -hmm. i that you know and mm -hmm. i'm learning that unfortunately you know um you can't find a company you know that operates on just one person oh yep I'm, mm -hmm. I'm going to have to become mm -hmm. reliable on other people to do other things within my business so that I can grow. Um, honestly, I don't foresee me being able to put anything else on my plate. 
Mm -hmm. um, if anything, in order for me to do that, I need to figure out, okay, if you want to do Facebook ads and figure out that whole process and how to upload my own ads and, you know, tweak videos and all that, then I need to stop calling. Yeah. I need to stop, you know, take the, I don't know, but I, I, yeah. okay, let's just talk about the expense of what it would cost for me to just have you do it because I, I, again, I want to stay outside of this comfort zone and also grow to a different level. And I don't think I can do that if I want to continue to self-manage every aspect of my business. I just can't do yeah. it. Yeah. Is 500 out of your budget to start? Um, it puts me a little tight only okay. because I've got some things that, um, I'm telling you, if I could have got paid for contract writing over the last two weeks, we'd be having a different conversation. Oh, I hear you. I it hear you. It is a bidding war, multiple offers. Everything I've written so far has been, has been handed back to me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I get it. It's in my account. I can do it. Um, no, I don't want you to put your last tight. dollar on this, D. Huh? Like, I don't want you to put your last dollar on it. Like, do no, not it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not my, it's not, this is, well, I don't know. Hopefully it's not my last dollar. Um, what if I, let's see. Uh, I don't know. What if I did, what if I did the five, could I break it up like half now? And no, I don't know. No. Yeah. You, I mean, you, you could do whatever you want. D. Like we, like, again, I don't, I don't want you to put your last, your last, I mean, if you got, if you got, if you need to hold on to that, I want you to hold on to that. Like we could, we could, I'm just glad we're talking about this. Like, I'm glad I'm planting the seed. I'm glad that I'm getting you out of your comfort zone doing these damn videos. Mm -hmm. Like I, th that's what I'm excited about. So if we got to wait, let's wait. Like, cause I want you to come in like, and I want you to come in strong. Like I want, I want you to come in with the mindset. I want you to come in with the budget and I want, I want to just crush the rest of the year. And, and, okay. and, I, and, and I want you to look at it and, and keep it simple and look at it. It's okay. This is my Facebook ad campaign. And, and, and this dude, David is going to run it for me. And if, if, and, and that's the thing about this is the fact that I already know what can happen as far as lead generation. Like mm -hmm. I already know what can happen. Like I already know how to set up the damn thing. I know how to run these ads in my sleep. And I, and I know that it doesn't take many to make all this stuff profitable. Like I need to bring you one extra deal a month to justify what the hell I'm about to charge you. Right. Right. So it's like, we don't need to crush it, crush it. Like it, that's why real estate, I'm like, man, you guys are, and, and, and I get everyone has expenses. I get it. I get the overhead. I get it. But at the same time, the profit margin, it's like, right. damn, okay. If we spend a few hundred to make a few thousand, how does that not make sense? And, and it's not like that in too many different businesses. Like I speak to a lot of different random businesses that sell stuff on their websites. They sell necklaces and t-shirts and hoodies and caps and the profit margin isn't there. So, so, so they're, they're making maybe, 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 maybe 10 bucks per unit, right? So they got to sell a lot of units to make it profitable where it's like, damn, in real estate or maybe car sales or, or something like that with a higher ticket, we need to sell one. Like we need to bring in one extra closed escrow a month to have a profit on what we're about to do. And that's mm -hmm. one, you know what I mean? So how long in, in most cases, I mean, just in your opinion, and you may not even be able to answer this question, um, that it takes to, to kind of, um, what am I 48 hours, two days, three days before leads really start coming in. Okay. And, and, yeah, I was just trying to say, you know, I, I guess I'd have to figure it out, you know, where that break even point is. Um, so we'll be $500 up front and when would the next cycle, I mean, we just go month to month. We'll just, I mean, we, again, we'll start, we'll start just month to month. Like we'll just. We'll so it's, five, it's 500 a month. Yeah. Because there's a, there's a lot that goes into the Facebook ads. I could teach you it all. Like I would, to tell you the truth, that's, that'd be my better. I, I would love to rather do that. Like just that, that way you don't have to depend on anyone, but there's a lot, there's a lot that goes into it. And that's why it's, when I go that approach, we have to break it up in a, in a handful of phone calls coaching calls so I can, so one call we could focus on custom audiences, one phone call we could focus on Facebook custom conversions, one phone call we can focus on installing the pixel on your landing page. There's quite a few things that go on, go in. And then, and then once all that's set up is just managing it all and making sure that the, the machine is well oiled. So mm -hmm. either, either again, either, either someone's going to do that for you 
or I'm going to teach you how to do it yourself. But either way, I mean, even at that 500, at some point, if you're like, damn, David, can you teach me how to do it? I'm going to, I'm going to just teach you how to do it as well. Mm -hmm. So whether you're going to take that five and just completely get out of my way and let me do what I do and you continue to do what you do, that's one way. Or uh, two weeks in, you're like, damn, David, let me, let me learn this. I'm going to teach you then. So it's whatever you want to do, you know, it's, it's, it's whatever you want to do, but okay. I don't want you spending your last buck on it. No, just like I said, my thing is I'm like, um, I mean, I'd like to see some things accepted this week. I'd like to see something pending in escrow right now. Um, Get that done first and then let's talk. Mm. And in the meantime, I want you to, I want you to keep putting up these videos. I want you to, I want you to stick from this point on when did you drop that last video. And here's another thing. Here's another, another thing I need to mention really, really quick. This link needs to be your business page link. Yeah, I don't, there's no way to change that. Am I, I don't know how to change that. Okay. So when you go to your page, let me show you from my end. Here's my personal page. I click about, mm -hmm. I go to work and education. There's your EXP link right there. You're going to hover over to the right. You'll see options. You click edit. You're going to X out EXP and you're going to type in yours. Oh, okay. And, and you're going to see the drop down. So if I type in inspired digital, I'll see the, I'll see the drop down. So make sure you see the drop down when you're typing in your name, click on that. And then just make sure it says public and then hit save changes. Because okay. That, that, yeah, that we don't want to draw no attention to the broker's link. I need, I need all attention going to your page. Um, because I wanted to see that video earlier and I'm like, damn, she ain't got her link up there. So I was trying to search your business page and I couldn't find it. Yeah. But, um, but my point is, is that when did you drop that last video? You dropped, um, let's go back to. Oh, the 28-day challenge? No, no, Just, no, not that one. Did you put up a one. different one? I thought you put up a new. I thought you put up uh, put up a newer one. No. Okay, you didn't. Okay, you didn't. You. No, I haven't. I, I have one that I like. I said was just an, just introducing myself, background in real estate, that sort of thing. But I, yes. I did not put it up. That needs to go up, D. That needs to go up right now. That needs to go up the moment we hang up. And Friday is the day. So by next okay. Friday, you need to have another video up. So I want you to get in the, in, the, in, the, in the habit of putting up these weekly videos and they go live every Friday morning at 6 a.m. local time. So if you got to post that Thursday night and schedule it to go live Friday morning, then do that. Or if you got to wake up at 5 a.m. and post that video or whatever time you want, I'm just saying 6 a.m., whatever. But if it's 9 a.m., whatever. Every Friday from this point on, there's a new video that goes up on, on your page. Now, what every agent does and what any business owner does is they'll just post it and leave it there. And it is what it is. Crickets. We're right. going to start running ads on those. But right now, in the meantime, I just want you to get in the habit of it. Get in the habit of dropping a new video every Friday. Okay. Because when we get started, it, it, we, we going straight to the top. I'm going to run ads on all them videos and start getting that face known. Okay. Okay. So you have my link to the calendar. So just schedule schedule our next call and 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 let's let's rock and roll. I'll be ready when you are. Okay, it's coming. Cool. Like I said, I just let me wrap my head around some things. I know, like I said, I got some automatic drives and things like that. Anyway, I appreciate you no. not putting a lot of pressure on. You. Just let me know what to look. You know. Yes. No, it's all good. It's all good. Okay. Do what you got to right. do, and I'll be a message away. Okay. Thanks. All right, D. Okay. Bye. Bye.